RBTV visits orphans and the underprivileged at St. Valentine's Center, Boya Town. The center that plays host to Aya Foundation internally displaced persons and orphans. The center has been taking care of the underprivileged since 1990 due to the ongoing Anglophone crisis in the northwest and southwest region of Cameroon. The center opened its doors to IDPs. The Aya Foundation, which brought some of the IDPs here, I had a place in Loom for 41 girls. They had a center in uh, uh, Limbe, another one in Mutengene and the like. Uh, yes, uh, we bring in children and take care of them integrally. Once a child is here, we don't expect anything from whoever brought the child. We don't expect anything from anywhere. We take care of the child integrally, integrally. That's to say what? We lodge the children, we feed them, we take care of their medical their difficulties, we take care of their education, we take care of everything. That's the work of the center. And so you have some graduates here, you have undergraduates, you have high school you know, atten attendees, you have children at the secondary school, you have children at the primary school, and even at the nursery. Uh, no, we have children you know, from whoever brings. We've had children here, even from Nigeria. Even Nigerians who were here, uh, they have graduated. Some of them are working. When a child comes, the person must justify how he came about the child so that uh, we don't run into uh, you know, the current child trafficking. So we accept children from anywhere. The only difficulty is that the original founder of the orphanage, a British soldier, Kenel Valentine, believed very strongly in the Bible verse that what the right hand gives, the left should not know. So he made no noise about his orphanage, which he founded here early 60 up to 89 when he died at Bansa. He transferred the orphanage from Boya to Musa. So we too are following in the same footsteps. There are people in Boya here who don't know that we are here. Some people pass and wonder what this place is all about. We make no noise so that whoever discovers us and offers services as you've come, we take. With support from people of goodwill, St. Valentine Center was able to survive throughout last year, despite the fact that the accounts of one of its main sponsors, Aya Foundation, and that of the sponsor's father, Aya Paul Abini, were all frozen for over two years now. What uh, have we faced in uh, 2021? Uh, you may have heard that uh, um, about 24 months ago, for reasons I don't know, uh, the government of Cameroon froze all my accounts and um, all my bank accounts, that is. And uh, they've been withholding my pension for close to five years now. So the orphanage was left more orphaned than it was before. Uh, as God would have it, we've had so many visitors since Christmas 20, 2020. And uh, that helped to keep the, the center going. We thank the many people who've come here with food, with the beverages, with medicines. That's where we are. We're also lucky that um, uh, an international NGO uh, found the, the center and is helping immensely in uh, providing food for the children, uh, affording for their education and even their medical care. So we didn't fare too badly, despite the fact that I had no money of my own. And uh, to repeat, this is the 24th month since my accounts were frozen by the government. And uh, nobody has had the courtesy to tell me why. I wrote to the presidency in May 2021. And of course, as usual with our system, uh, they didn't even acknowledge the receipt. 
what are we looking forward to in 2022? The people who helped us are still there. They just keep coming. You have just come with your own present, as you can imagine. And so the presents keep coming, and the children are fa faring fairly well. We don't expect anything adverse in 2022. If anything, if it pleases the government to unfreeze my accounts, the children will be much better taken care of. When they froze my accounts, they also froze the accounts of the foundation and froze the private accounts of the founder, the manager and founder of the foundation. Aya, Aya Abine. Yet we, we never can express, you know, in words what we feel when people come to help us, to help the Any wishes to you in particular for coming, you are, you are the first to come here this 2022. I wish you a wonderful uh, 2022, you and uh, your co-workers back home, your families, and then all the goodwill people around the world, we wish them a wonderful new year. May God really keep them, because without them, uh, some of the children would end up in the gutters. But uh, the good world is doing a marvelous job by taking care of the underprivileged. Thanks for talking to RBT. It's a wonderful title. Thank you. RBT, changing the world.